everyone, I'm Rick Sanores of Vivation Makati, and I'm here to interview one of the foremost menswear designer in the Philippines. Uh, he had the label of SMB4 under his name, and now he's in charge of the sleepwear division of SM Woman. So, let me introduce to you Mr. Anthony Noko. And then from this play, 
Siguro may boss pound na ay uh, snack in fashion. So they display it. Eh? Display it lang. Pero for one short while lang speed lang yun. Sa short speed lang yun. And then became a merchandiser, junior merchandiser, ng men's wear for the boutique's wear. Diba the boutique's wear is a, yes, a Makati yeah. store within a store. Diba with designer labels, local ready to wear. There's another floor, another setting area for the boutique's wear, mga designer brands. And then from there, uh, I was then asked to the, develop the local, the in-house brands, SM, newsmakers and men's club, my t-shirts and polo shirts. From there, we're going to start in But I love like fashion. Generally. Generally. So, I'm going to start in fashion and men's So, so then I thought, why not do men's wear? It's easier, it's only polo shirts and pantalons. I'm going to design it and specialize in men's wear. Well, style. yeah, at that time, it's not going to put now, I guess, you will see. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, but I'm specifically men's wear. I'm just doing men's wear. Like, that's how you, if at that time you let me do women's wear, I can understand women's wear, but then if you want me to uh, sketch, I cannot sketch. My sketch is different from the, the usual sketch that my tao is from Papos. It's more is flat sound, it's from factory, from manufacturer, and sketch. So, Which leads me uh -oh. to the next question. Yeah. Have you really ever tried doing women's wear? Well, one one time I did. Uh, then I realized it's really different from women's wear because women and dami lang ano eh we have a long suspect uh, if there are lots of elements in the women's it's only not, it's only not unlike men's wear it's only polo shirt and pants yes. you know? so women's there's t-shirt there's pants there's skirt there's you know iba iba so and must be because must make it some women's wear because you have to make sure they, so you should look Beautiful and you know, magandang uh, lang ang bagsak ng gabi. Mm -hmm. There's more things to consider than menswear. So, mas paganda na yung menswear na lang. Kasi ikaw, parang kung baga kukonti lang. Yeah, but then you know, you know that the men's, men are more uh, pihitan, pihiting than women. Ah, ah talaga? Yes. That's the experience mo. Oo, oo, oo. Men, men, the male shoppers, they shop longer than women. Ito on their own. Ah! You know why? Because the women are very particular with their shirt, uh, the stripe of the polo shirt, the stripe of the polo shirt, the stripe of the polo shirt. And that's general. That's general. General, yeah. Because I, uh, I've accompanied friends to the store. Ang tagal-tagal din sa fitting, ano mo ginagawa mo dyan? They're not so sure to okay ba yung fit, yung pantalon. They're mas... Mas mabusisi. Mas mabusisi. Ang babae kasi pag once you're something, they like it. Okay, okay na. na. Okay na. See? That's why the men, they shop longer, but then very good customers. Because sometimes, if they like a shirt, they'll ask the sales girl, Ilang ko 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 na ito ko? Ah, kunin ko na lahat. Kasi nga, kailangan lalo din na isa pipi. Yeah, 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 because men don't, just don't shop talaga. So they'd rather have something, you know, if they like to feed him, they'll buy it. Agad. Kung lang mo siyang, they'll buy agad agad. One time, time yeah. buy lang sila actually. But they, they're good customers actually. Uh, so for my experience in retail, I've never had a complaint or whatever about my shirts, my suits, whatever. Wala naman, wala, wala, wala naman. Because I make sure the quality is uh, okay and the fit. Oh, sometimes I do my own fittings mm -hmm. before. Uh, and I really make sure it's a very, very uh, neat, very annoying detail thing. Eh. Oh, it's a weird boy in me, probably. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you know, that, you see, that, that was 80s on so to the 90s. Uh, at that time, the men don't shop yet. Mm -hmm. It's more of the women who shop before. Oh, oh, oh. So the women... That's, that's it was that's the women buying for, buy for the husband, for the, men, for the oh. husband, for their boyfriend, for their oh. sons. And so it's them that uh, who chooses the, the print or the color na gusto mo na pwede sa, sa customer, sa bibihan nila. And then, then it evolved then eventually, you know, through the years it evolved because you see now men buying their clothes, now they are still And then, uh, that's how, ano na yung, pop sa metrosexual era ng men's ah, era, yes. diba? So, everybody, all the men, you see the men shop, and they're very more conscious, they're very vain, everything they'll buy. And, you know, saka sa lalaki kasi, I noticed, uh, they will not buy something trendy if, Parkado nila, may isang parkado na tasunan ngayon. Yung bang puso ngayon, ganyan. Ah, okay. 
okay, but you don't need it. So then they start to wear them. Okay. They're afraid to be the first one. Siyempre, ah, parang di ba? Okay, pagka the macho culture natin dito. Oo, dito. Oo, dito. Pero sa abroad, pa rin eh. Kaya iba yung iba sa abroad. Dito is really different. Kaya mas matagal ang pick-up ng men's dito. But now, they buy. They can buy anything, actually. Lalo mo ang millennial generation. Actually, yung next question ko, di ba? You had once a label under your business, M, di ba? Oo. By going retail, did you really feel that there is a good market for men's fashion then and now? Before, it's more of a... I mean, there's something lacking. I said to myself, there's something lacking. There's nothing for men's here, no? So, that's why I went into the retail, into the ready-to-wear design because of the lack of men's clothing. Because the men, before they go to the tailors, magpapatahe, tailor, di ba? So, at least right now, with the influx of ready-to-wear already, so more women, so similar than men's wear. There were only a few of us who were doing men's wear. Martin Mitesh is one, and then there's Jerry Ekin. But we're just more made to order. Very, very few actually. I started with ready to wear, and still now I'm still ready to wear. I never had been made to order. I accept some orders, but it's not the regular thing actually. More of ready to wear than the sa akin. Just like my my mindset is always ready to wear. You know, it should sell it itself. You know. Yes, yes. Tunichi, aside from being a menswear designer, you also do some styling. Especially yeah, the show you did for SM Woman. Yeah, right? uh, and I personally saw your flair for women's fashion. Okay. Did it ever occur to you that you can also be an effective women's wear designer? Did, after all that we've done, you've uh, done for especially styling. Kasi okay. nakita ko, Tunichi, mabusisi ka din, no? Very. Doon sa mga ginawa natin shows, uh -oh. nakita ko, paano mo i-put up together yung mga damit, yes, diba, yes. Uh -oh. Tapos, nagtataka na ako, tayo tayo yung tumichi yung women's wear. Actually, uh, someone noticed that and then he, he told me, sabi niya, you know what's good with you? Magaling ka mag-edit ng damit, lalo sa babae, mm -hmm. alam mo ba nung, I mean, even accessories. Ha? Even uh, well, accessories to Nietzsche, nakakatawa ka mas, diba? Yes. Itong advantage na meron tayo yung SM accessories. Yes. And you got accessories. Oh, 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 because you, Schumer, Schumer SM is a fashion store, so we have everything there. Yeah, no okay. problem. So shoes, we have shoes, we have bags, we have But you have the flavor. Uh, well, it's through my my interest in fashion, actually. Uh, because I read a lot of magazines, books. Now we'll go, we'll go there later. <laughs> okay. 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 So that's why, that's why uh, I, can, uh, I can understand, I can look at them like, in the office, it's a buy-in, okay? I don't handle the women's, as a woman, trendy clothes, okay? So when I see, when I see the samples, uh, I will tell the merchandise, you know, of pa-fit mo yan, may diferensya yan. Kasi bago, bago sita or what, sabi ko, we have to have it fitted now. Ganaan ko pala, kasi kung pag it starts with the sample, eh, for anyway, For a for a garment to be to reach the selling area, you should start from the off from the sampling. Because sample palang may difference na you have to have fix na before it's delivered. Tumi chi yung mindset mo niya, is it because of the retail mentality? Yeah, because I I grew up in retail. What I know in retail is all my work experience under SEC also. So, but I read books on retail also. I didn't go to the schools who study merchandise, how I wish, I said to myself, no, but then, uh, I said, so it's all work experience, it's just, oh, very observant, you know, uh, and then, of course, you, uh, and then my friends, it's like Paloy Madido, it's like Cesar Gabo, they also read the ready to wear, so, do na, ano, sama-sama kami palagi, so, I would listen to them about, talk about, uh, Doing clothes for women, you just listen to them. I don't, I don't keep on asking. Just listen to them, and then don't naive the young one after me. See, that's why when you look at the dress, I would, but don't let me do cut and cutting because I don't know how to do pattern. But I can just look at the dress and I'm making the pattern well enough after you. Just to me, chin ba after your menswear line, 
you are still connected with the company yes. doing sleepwear for Yes, men. yes. Why the sudden shift and why sleepwear? Uh, well, after 30 years in menswear, uh, I have to give myself a break, Muna. Okay. okay. But I can go back to doing my labels if I want to. Uh -oh. But I do miss doing menswear. Uh -huh. um, sleepwear because I think there's a market. There's a big market oh. that's not yet the top, not yet being looked into. Who was that? It's doing well, doing well. Well, well my, my, my sleepwear in Schumacher is, uh, is all made out of satin, shiny satin. So, so everything you see as a woman in sleepwear, which is in satin, that's what I work on actually. Uh, from pajama sets to robes to kinds of tops and shorts to kaftans to Rose of the Oh, no, that's, that's, my, that's my, that's what I can say with any two women to wear my own. But it's not, it's not my name, it's only that house label actually. So uh, it's fine with me. It's fine with me. There are no balak that you put in the men's sleepwear. There, uh, I wanted to, that's why I would try to, continue. but you see, very few men wear satin robes in Detroit, satin pajamas, <laughs> diba? So, so okay. baka siguro robes pwede, pero pajamas, I love Kasi it. Kasi ganyan, sa panahon ngayon, Tunisia, napapansin ko, even the, the 40s, 50s, na mga lalaki, nagpapajamas na rin. So, oh, oh may pwede ito ngayon, right now? Uh, I don't know kung may, may very, itong mga just a small market only, so it uh, okay. very big market. Robes, pwede pa rin pa siguro, but then, but that pajamas, uh, even I don't sleep in pajamas. <laughs> so, see, you want. So, you got a mess of the details. They just wear t shirt and shorts. It's a box of 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 shorts. You're the past president of the Fashion yes. Design Council of the Philippines, mm -hmm. which is FDCP. Mm -hmm. How was it handling a group of established designers, especially that you had a good number of them as members? Wow. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, when I was FDCP president, it's an honor to lead the group actually. Uh, we have 37 members of Kenyan Kenyan heads, young Kenyan minds. Uh, of course, they have their own whatever. But I can say it could be better or FDCP could have done better if, uh, if ever, you say, there, all of us would get together, work together, actually. Uh, because, you know, it's more of a group thing than you work. We have to work together. But, you know, I can say what during, uh, every time I call for a meeting, it's, uh, there are a lot of people that, I mean, that, that attend this, you know? Uh, and they're interested, but, you know, that was the time I was that, that era, that, Year that I was president, that made you and the economy not in so, you know, so it's really hard to, but then you know, every city has a future. We, we can do something about help of the fashion industry here. Uh, because we're, our fashion industry is dying today, I don't know if we're dying, but it's really that that has an improvement. We can do better. I think all of us would really just uh, get up, get together, and work. Rather than on my own, you know, I'm doing it again. Nothing will happen if it's like that. Eh? Well, yeah, it's everybody should be, um, yeah, everybody should have the same mindset and they want to have the industry because eventually you'll get out of it. You know, if you work together, all of you will on the day. But you have an organization today. Yes, place. yes. Because I, uh, I know our organization is uh, very respected in, mm -hmm. uh, in the, uh, with the public and. Uh, in the industry also as well, uh, the press people, they like our group, they really look up to our group, which I'm very happy, and at least we were able to establish that. See, but, you know, through times right now, which is hard, eh, so we don't like, during this pandemic time, uh, there's this thing about, you know, there's no work, right? the lockdown oh, really, yeah. really hit a lot of my, uh, designer friends in their business and uh, so the industry has you know, stopped for a while to 
which there's no function, because there's no thing going on, because all, well, uh, so it's really, it's really bad, it's really bad, and I hope this lockdown will be over soon, but everybody will be back to normal, okay. to the naman, to all. Mr. Vici, I consider you, personally, I consider you as a good source of information about Philippine fashion. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. I fathom of your memory <laughs> of people who had great contributions uh -huh. to our industry. Uh -huh. I marvel at your collections of memorabilia. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Property <laughs> bestowed. <laughs> is, is this your way of showing that you love being part of the Philippine fashion industry? First and foremost, I love the industry. Uh, I am very fortunate to have met the generation of designers before me also have worked with them uh, and they know me and then plus of the generation of designers today. So I just we, I just said to myself, just watch because that's why I know a lot from their era, from their time, and then I from my observation from this generation. So um, we have the talent, the Filipino designers are talented actually. Uh, because it's because of our, I think of our uh, uh, culture from the East and the West fixed together. Uh, so we pick it up there. So we, that's why we do, we, when we see our clothes, we're very fast actually. You know, it's the, it's a thing in the Filipino, well, I don't know, it's just the culture, it's a even a little culture. But we have the talent, you know, we have a lot of designs that are making well abroad, you know? uh -huh. So, um, the government should study, or should see at least what the fashion industry can do for the fashion designers here. Because all our designers here, I'm sorry to say, but you know, uh, all make order in the But if you want to go over, you have to go big time. You have to work with a big factory or you own a big factory. That's the business option. But then ours is only make the order people. So it's only. Time. So what are you going to do? Dr. Vigil, natutuloy talaga ako uh, pag naglalabas ka na ng mga clippings. No, yeah. because I think clippings of Anjaga. friends of mga kilala ko or my favorites actually. I, I remember. Because I remember, because I, I know in the long run, if the time comes for it na kailangan nyo din yan, ay sabi ko meron ako niyan. Oh, so, natugunan sila. Hindi pa may mga survey. Yes, oh. even the, because the designers themselves, they tell me they don't keep their clippings. Well, it's not really, so I didn't know that. I'm not a person who, you know, may hindi mag-file with camera here. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Because it's a good source. Well, you know, my dream, actually, for us is to have a fashion museum here, you know? Okay. Or a book or a book. Or a library manga. Yeah, something like that on fashion. But, you know, that will take a lot of money and also the process of that to have a museum. Because I like, will keep, let's say, by the hour only to ask from the designers each outfit, you know, you know the best outfits, I'll keep them, actually. Uh, why? Because I know in the future, the young designers would look back into it and see that is Filipino fashion, that's the <laughs> Filipino, Filipino designers. Yung ibang, ibang history ng Filipino fashion, mm -hmm. nalagaman na lang natin sa kwento. Kau itu kan, kau jadi bro, nak bawa pasukan. Kau itu tu, kita punya tu kan? Kita tu, 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 t
Yeah. Some of you, some of my friends, they don't take pictures or they may see it, they don't overtake mm -hmm. me. So, uh, I have to my camera is very precious to me. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I don't do social media. I don't post it up uh, so social media. <laughs> I keep it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ito, uh -oh. nasa album ko yun, nasa uh -oh. album na ka, kasi I'm fond of collecting pictures, uh -oh. nakasama ako. Oh, but I think I'm the old school yata, you know, I still want to get for the picture. Pinitrain mo talaga. Ah, pinitrain ko talaga. And I don't put it on social media, mga ganun pictures. Doon yung mga songs from me, I don't take pictures and I don't, I give it to the person uh -oh. mismo. Uh -oh. And then, uh, and then I show it. With the person there, the papa kita ko talaga yan. So it's all, you know, but I keep it, I, I don't even, for an I don't even do social media. Because I, they tell me, may Facebook nga yan, pero may Instagram, may Instagram, may Instagram, may Instagram, may Instagram, may Instagram. Eh, so, may joke lang, I'm publishing a book, kaya nga yung last picture. Hindi pwede pa ang mag-gawa ng video about, see? About Philippine fashion. Oh, well, I want to really want to, you know, if somebody says it, we have to come up with a book. On the Filipino designs from pre-war, post-war, and then the generation now, so they would understand. They would the young designers would see the history of Filipino fashion because you know the young designers right now they just depend on social media, and they want to start to mention a name. You know, not kill that. So it is bad. And the other details. Yeah, you know, you know, they always see what was I was in social media is the. It's the up and coming design with the hot designers in Europe and America. But locally, they don't know because if I use somebody and design and say, it's a Cesar Gao, it's a Ben Morales. Wow, we just don't know. It's so sad, actually. It's so sad. The young designers, they should know their history of Philippine Party. Because I don't do it, but I'm so immersed in it. Kanang palaman yung ganto eh. Kasi hindi nyo hindi pwede nang just depend on social media. Like, everybody abroad, they also keep the past designers. Tsaka sa Google, ito, Michi, hindi rin kompleto. Yun lang nga eh, sir. Because, you know, kasi I said, I'm so lucky to have met the post to our designers and the generation today. See, like in Fashion Week, it's a, I'm having Fashion Week because Fashion Week, a lot of young designers, you know that, di ba? Ang dadami. And then you see next season, nawawala, or di ba? Or nagpapanglit. I see some designs, they evolve every year na lang, every year na lang. Naging ito, naging ba ng dadami. So they evolve, they take that for children already. So that's the thing that I like to watch with me. Because you see them eh. They'll, you see them grow. They'll develop it and you see them grow. Ang mga may attitude eh. Ay, hindi ko tatala sa video. Ayoko na pasunan yung mga attitude. Ayoko. Kasi ako may ganyan backstage. May mga ginawa ba ate pari. Hindi ko tatala sa business. Hindi ko last. Hindi porque may ating lawyer. Ang mga ito lang. Pag makita yung Stunichi talaga nun, mas tumungay pang mata ng mga kayo. Nakikita nyo, Chida, di ba? So, pag tumungay pala ng mga kayo. Anyway, Stunichi, ang view ko with the latest trends in fashion. General. It depends on the night before. Ganun talaga. No. So, we can't keep it. No. It depends on the inspiration. It depends on what I read, what I see, what I see and read, actually, what I see in the streets. Then I try to, well, in my case, in ready to wear, I have to see what people are wearing, and then I adapt, and then I put it out to the store. Uh, that's the only way you, you, you cannot be too hearing, well, hearing our country, you cannot, in Manila, you cannot be too advanced because it's only a small market. Mm -hmm. Because my, my training, is my set is ready to wear, so mass market, so it should really take to the mass out and something like that. It will take to the masses. Because if you uh, it come up too trendy, oh, man, I'm not come up. Pero, it won't be that flat. It won't be that flat. Marketing and aggressive. Oh, and the Filipino market. Oh, but nothing good there. They know already that what the clothes are in there. Their sense of it. Probably something with the OC, OFW. They've already worked up there. So they see things there. So they observe. So when they come home, na ano na di kasi na di ba nila taste ng mga pinoy right now? May exposure sila. So they know it or ah, hindi ko pa rin yun, hindi ko pa rin yun. So so when they come home, they see. 
the branch from Berep to Sudali. They see it under the under it, so they know already. So, what that is not the idea. That's why eventually, now I'm going to do the remote, you know, to dress up. Tunichi, what is the Anthony Noko? What is Anthony Noko known for as a designer? Who is the Anthony Noko man? Mm -hmm. Noko? The Anthony Noko is a designer. Well, my clothes uh, are not loud. I mean, they're very. They're, they don't call for attention, actually. Uh, but my clothes, I know it is. Uh, it's in between trendy and classic. Uh, that's someone that you can still wear it after several years. Uh, um, because, and I make sure um, that the colors or whatever I, I do is uh, it goes to the right for, for the men actually. I can come up too flashy here because you know it won't. The remember it that some of the cashier should read the market. So, that would not be very bad, you know, but it's too, too advanced. But then sometimes it's kind of trendy, but not really too over, over trendy. Because, uh, because I think that's what I'm known for, you know, like my suits, actually. I'm very, they are known for this, for my suits that they come up with. So, just like they know that I'm a suit designer, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, they don't have a suit. Yeah, no. uh, <laughs> 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 that, uh, for me, like, the anti-noble man, I think, is somebody who's on the go, who can dress up for his life? I don't know if it's a I mean, that's why I come with a collection of t shirts, shorts, jacket, blazers, blah, blah. So, what do you think about that? To put together. I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. I will not uh, let it go. Tonichi, mm. what advice can you give to designers who want to follow your footsteps, especially in menswear? Oh, well, I mean, so it's where it is, it doesn't matter actually, but you have to define yourself actually. You have to make your own, uh, you have to come up with your own signature style so people will know it's yours. Uh, you can be inspired by other designers, but you have to put in yourself into it, your own design, your own, your own aesthetic, so, I mean, how, how you want to come, how to dress. So when, when you establish that, even from behind, they know it's your clothes because they know the style that you're doing. And also stay focused on what you do. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, they have to stay focused. You know, if that's what they want to do, you're not. And then from there, then they develop the land. They can, because there are, there are more things you can do to say, you know, for them, like, you know, I can say, I can direct shows, I can do styling, I can, you know, anything to, anything to do with fashion, I can do it. Because that's my training in shoe marketing. Uh, but you know, for a young designer, young designers should always define yourself, have their own DNA. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as I can see, these designers today, they come from this designer, from this designer, from this designer. So obviously, we know we know what what kind of designer. Yeah, but I don't know about the name. Yeah, so when people ask you how you find people, I don't know because I can't say. I sometimes we don't know who, and when. Look, yeah, it's what I look, yeah. So, what's gonna they're known in social media or whatever, but then, yeah, but what are social media? Makikila, kaya sila, makikila, kaya sila. Uh, so that's why I said they should define their own style, their own signature style. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you have to have your own style, the designers should all the young designers at first, yeah, right. They put everything inside in one outfit, the band, and some of the seats, but that, 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 you can, from that outfit, you come up with two or three designs for outfit. And that eventually will be edited. You know how to edit it, actually. Oh, I know. You have to know how to edit it. Because it's not more, it's more. You know, because you can see that, oh, the book is not there. So, on the other hand, the action. See, that's why you're nice. That's why you have to define yourself, at least in the inner group, and then also, you have to stay focused on your, Whatever na ginagawa mo man sa this in fashion design, you have to stay focused. Do do what you and pero just have to, you have to define yourself. You have to have your own DNA. Because hindi ka pa kung wala pang DNA. Okay. See. Because okay. mm -hmm. to me, you know, in the future, how else could you contribute to our industry? Well, simple thing. I'll still do things for the fashion industry if they ask me to or if there's any interesting projects that come in. 
uh, what I want to see is a museum where you put in the, all the design clothing, all the local designers, or a book at least. Or a library. A library. Uh, but, you know, these things, knowing the Pinoy mentality, so it will take a while. But, you know, I think that because I think we need a fashion museum, you know, even from the past design, from the senior designers, because uh, this is the year, this is the generation of young designers, because the, the post-war designers, the Mang Ben, Pitoy, Rayo, and the rest, their generation has gone already. I mean, not all, but then it's about time that we are going to another generation. Actually, it's a it's generation. It's a 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 generation like the involvement of the teatro, which which is good, because mm -hmm. at least, you know, the Filipino design would know how a teatro is made. Because know. sometimes, when it's this Ibang teatro, it's funny feeling, it's funny they're cannibalizing the teatro, mm -hmm. and, you know, they're making fun of it. But, you know, uh, the teatro is something, it's a national costume of ours, or there are different versions of it, mm -hmm. but then, it should become a, you know, they shouldn't even bastardize it. Uh, 30 months. No, no, they shouldn't oh, bastardize it. They should never bastardize that. Uh, they should retain what the terror is all about, what the terror is. After you wait for daytime, for nighttime, you should re re retain that uh, thing. Because, you know, nawawa lang eh. Nawawa lang ano nun ano eh. You know. Pero sa tingin mo ba, Tunichi, we have to stick lang with the terror. Kasi di ba, I remember si Valera before, Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then we can do something for you, but finally we will tell you something, right? So, you know, we can't even try to involve the Tento, another national force. No, I don't think so. You have to retain the tone. It's just like the kimono by, by the Japanese, you know, um, how many the generations are still the kimono. Oh. And it's like it's a kimono sleeve, which is very familiar. Everybody knows the kimono sleeves. Oh. But, you know, sometimes the European designers, I would see some collections. May mga malatero sleeves din ang dati, oh, kaya wala, okay, uh, diba? So, may mga ganun. So, if we come up with, uh, if we establish that, like, babaling ako, the, 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 ano, the, or before the teros, that one, we establish the teros, it's okay. At least people will know it's Filipino. Uh, Nawawa na identity natin eh. Uh, we're already bad with our fashion industry here. There are more identity pa natin, wala, wala. Of course, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of, uh, provinces here. May kanya-kanya, ano yan. But we have to retain, like, the weave, especially the weave, because over in Asia, almost the weave is similar to some other Asian, Asian countries. But we have to really push that and push it hard. So you go for that? Yeah, I go for that. Because, you know, uh, and also, but the government has to support the fashion industry one way or the other. It's not, it's not for the fashion. I, well, I am, it's nothing, you know. But they don't have fashion also. Uh, fashion is uh, important because uh, fashion uh, depicts the, what's happening around the world, actually. So, our inner, inner country is one of But everybody should be involved in fashion. Because you cannot be, not be involved there. In fashion. Because uh, I love doing fashion. Uh, and I love fashion. And I love fashion. I will never stop doing any to be, to be involved in fashion. I'll do it. Uh, especially for the things she shows. Oh, I just love it. I enjoy that actually. Uh, because, you know. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and besides, I, would, I also work with other designer friends, 
I'm just a volunteer myself. It's not like doing it because I don't find it as a competitor. Eh. Uh, uh, you know, I don't find it as a competitor. You know, yes, works. Uh, I work with Randy Ortiz. I don't find it as a competitor because, you know, first of all, we're friends. So we will talk about the business, but he has a line, I have my own line, so that's it. Good enough. Uh, he would ask for my help on fashion shows. Okay now, we'll fine. I like it actually no, because right. I because I know I'm good at it. Actually, uh, parang gusto niya parang talaga hindi hina na siya ng tulong. <laughs> Yung mga nakakatuwa kay Tunichi. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you Tunichi for thank this. You also, you're welcome. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this interview. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye.